Breaking news. Massive protests going on in Abuja against the Nubu's government. See explosive details. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Resounding call for justice and accountability echoed through the streets of Abuja on a fateful Monday. As a group of impassionate, impassioned activities united under the banner of the Take It Back movement to protest against the extravagant distribution of brand new SUVs to members of the National Assembly. Each of these vehicles was valued at a, a staggering 160 million naira, a sum that struck a, a nerve with a popular grappling with poverty, hunger, and unemployment. In a powerful statement on the behalf of the protesters, Emmanuel Larry decried ostentatious display of words by elected representatives as a direct affront to the Nigerian people. He fervently articulated the lawmakers are using our money to enrich themselves. The Nigerian police are not being paid good salaries because of bad leadership and selfish lawmakers. This is the right time for Nigerian people to stand up for their rights and say enough is enough. Fuel is now 650 per liter. But senators are buying SUVs worth 160 million. Why people are suffering and dying. These pregnant protests shed light on the stark contrast between the lavish lifestyles of the lawmakers and the dire circumstances endured by ordinary Nigerians, the struggle for survival in the face of rising fuel price, coupled with a hard economy challenges, has become exacerbated by a government that appears detached from the daily realities of its citizens. The unity and resolve of the activ activists were put to the text when a group of policemen attempted to stop the protest at Unity Fanta, asserting that police permission was required. On un undaunted, the activists courageously maintained that they did not need permission to exercise their fundamental right to stage a protest, a peaceful protest, demanding justice and accountability from their elected representatives. The public outcry over the purchase of Toyota Land Cruiser and Prado Sport Utility Vehicles SUVs for the members of the 10th National Assembly was unignorable. The House of Representatives alone was set to receive 358 units of the latest model of Toyota Land Cruiser, including two bulletproof vehicles for the Speaker and its deputy. Meanwhile, the Senate was posed to take delivery of 107 Toyota Prado 2023 model vehicles, each costing approximately $160 million, along with bulletproof versions for the President of the Senate and his deputy at a tarnishing uh, cost of $320 million each. In a nation beset by economic hardships <laughs> and pressing challenges of wealth by lawmakers could not have come at a worse time. The protesters' impassioned plea for accountability and the respons uh, respons responsible use of public resources struck a chord with the heart of many Nigerians who long for a government that prioritize the welfare of its citizens over personal extravagance. The echoes of these protests are likely to resonate for some time as Nigerians continue to demand transparency, accountability, and a government that truly serves their interests. 
Well, it's like um, Nigeria is now. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't just know what to describe it, this country right now. We don't fall from from pan to fire, and the way the whole thing is going, eh, it seems unredeemable. You don't even know who you you are going to cry to. These people are supposed to protect the welfare of the citizens. These people are supposed to protect the citizens they represent. But look at what they are doing. They care less about Nigerians. They know they care. You know what they tell people that time say? If, if you they won't die for politicians, you go die again. Because die your death, eh? When you don't die, go there. You go die again. You understand? You go die again for doing that. Look at our leaders. Look at what they are doing. Nigeria now is nothing to write home about. Some filling stations are now selling for 700 naira. Christmas never reach. A bag of rice right now is uh, 57, 58,000. I am talking of local rice. Christmas never reach. Before the end of November, the bag of rice, maybe they don't they sell them for something thousand. A crate of egg. Eh? When would they buy for 50, 500? 700 at least. It's now 3,000, 4,000, 3,500 inside this country. And this is the same people who said they are strategists. They know how to, to keep the, the ground running. They know it all. But right now, it seems that they have missed it. But funny enough, when people talk about these things, they will tell you that it's working. It's going to work. Nigerians should be patient. The same patient. Now, now so we patient to, to, to uh, Muhammad Wari come, come out for office. Now, if I may ask, why is it that people are looking for uh, people are looking for good government? Have you forgotten what he said? He said he's going to start from where his prestigious or stop. So what are we talking about? So it should not be a shocking because this is just the beginning. <laughs> the the country now will be you. If you go let you live, live. If you not let you leave, come out. Where you they go? Nigerians, I beg, what do I get to talk? What's your take on this? So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.